it's SSG, it's fine. I'll equal it out and be biased towards the wall. Okay, well, um, if SSG win, you will hear a slow clap from me rising to a crescendo of applause in support of my team. But actually, no, I will not be a partisan supporter. I will be very, very unbiased because I'm a highly paid professional in South African esports. <laughs> no, no <laughs> doubt. It's all good. Well, anyway, guys, uh, the teams have readied up here. It is Ballers versus SSG Shock for the DGL CSGO Cup Final. And we are live on Overpass. So taking you through the first pistol round, let's have a quick look and see what and where are they going. Looks like they're going to be moving in towards the B-side area. So this could uh, be quite interesting. SSG in the T-side strip against Ballers in CT. Just waiting it out here. On the lower tunnel side area they will be going in for the breach side now let's see if they can get the bomb down and it is quite uh, an easy walk in here for the sg guys nice little play though there from the i can't even pronounce his name to be honest i think he's changed it but besides the point a really good retake here actually from ballers at the moment blaze managing to pick up one there and TGM as well in with support outlaw also around the corner and the defuse will take place there is still asperity left he manages to knock down one of them before TGM takes him down. And a good start here for the baller's side, really, eh? I need to quickly find out uh, if my partner is actually still around. Mike, you still there? Yeah, sorry, I just uh, timed out for a second. Apologies. No um, problem. So what I was saying about um, ballers was that they would push early and put early aggression. They actually put two players up long, so they were able to quickly determine that SSG were pushing against B and then get to rotate in quickly. Oh, well, a good start here, though, for the baller side. You can see that they've got two Famasas and a couple of SSGs. No pistol armor buy here from SSG, so that's going to change things up here, of course. Just having a quick look on where that bomb will be going. We see it moving in towards the A long side area. And uh, Outlaw readying it up there with the FAMAS at bathrooms. And uh, yeah, well, it looks like a bit of a slow play here from SSG at the moment. Uh, yeah, absolutely. They'll just be looking to find close angles with those uh, P250 pistols, uh, get in close and uh, cause some damage close up because of the lack of armor. Uh, of course, they've got the bomb plant in the first round, so they should be able to full buy in the third round regardless. So they're just going to see what sort of damage they can put in and maybe possibly get get a couple of frags. Looks like some aggression coming in too long from bathrooms by SSG at the moment. Oh, it's looking pretty good at the moment. A bit of a, a fight out here in the long side area. Nice little shot there for Aeon. Takes down uh, Blaze and Outlaw managing to exchange off with the FAMAS as uh, the SSG guys move in slowly into the B side area, or sorry, A side area here. Good defense off from Ballers at the moment. Outlaw all over the place and he will pick up the 4K there. Good defense. The bomb doesn't go down, so a bit unfortunate there for SSG, but uh, nonetheless, good stuff for ballers. Yeah, SSG able to come in with a good buy now based on the strength of the bomb plant. Uh, they've got an AWP and a Sperity already. It's a glass cannon, so obviously you can't take any damage, but uh, the, d the weapons are definitely looking stronger on SSG because of the buy. There's only three rifles on the... Uh, on the baller side, whereas uh, SSG have actually got four rifles and an orc, but uh, a little bit louder on the nades because of, of the AK and armor buyers. Yeah, I see quick flashes in there into the fountain side area. I see Asperity, though, playing with the AWP on the third round. Very good one, though. Nice little peek here from Outlaw again. He seems to Great be featuring boost. on that boost. And at the moment, we're just seeing it. Uh, the SSG guys already a man down now. Bomb kind of moving. Well, I don't know if it is actually sitting in that lower side area. It's very hard to tell. It does seem to be the case right now. We see Z Hunter at the moment just kind of peeking it out that door. So he's not aware of Kubrick's with the boost here. Well, now he very is. Cheeky boost. I actually saw Nip using it earlier today against Flipside and ESL Pro League. I saw it a couple of times. I actually saw it a couple of times uh, this weekend. A couple of uh, of the teams were actually boosting up on that side. Yeah, it's become quite a common thing on this map to use some cheeky boosts. There's another boost going on on A site as well, looking over long. You can actually see over towards long and towards bathrooms from that position. Quite popular. A lot of teams actually molly it. Yeah. A little bit of damage being exchanged there. B as well through the wall between Z Hunter and Outlaw Kubricks. Well, let's see if Aeon can get the frag shot. Then he gets the heady. Good little oh, player. Outlaw, outlaw out of the picture. 
Oh, they were wired to that boost, which is uh, interesting to say the least. Uh, Aeon seems to be on par with the AK-47. Yeah, nice little frag there on Kubrix as well. Blaze still around, and Aeon again taking down his uh, third guy. Finally going down to TGM here with the MP7. And he's highly outnumbered right now. He's going to have to make a move here. It's not going to work out for him. Diablo taking him down, and SSG bring down their first. Well, bring up their first round. Good start for them, actually. Yeah, good to see that they're, they're bringing in the frags. Aeon's a, a, an in-game leader, actually can frag quite hard. Often you'll 30 bomb. Um, I think, you know, he's just one of those special people that have female genes because he can do multiple things at once. Sorry, uh, <laughs> Aeon, I'm not calling you a girl. <laughs> yeah, well, that is uh, that that is a very, like, kind of uh, defined skill to have, actually, being able to call and uh, produce quite a number of frags as well, you know, 30 bomb in games and so forth. So really cool to see. Nice little pick-off here from Halkies. He will get the second here. The Kubix manages to exchange it up here, but uh, nothing more from there. The rifle's just tearing into the into the pistols with no armor. A couple of kills coming in there, but uh, ultimately it's just only losing two players, so not too much of an impact to the economy. Uh, they are quite wise, the cheeky boosts. I do recall uh, that happening quite a lot in the game that I played for SSG versus Ballers, so... Um, I expect uh, that Aeon will be telling his players to watch for those uh, those boosts, and as we've seen, there's been quite a, a couple of headshots coming in after the the only one success for one of those boosts. But now the full bite coming in for both teams, so we should see quite a good matchup in this round. The first proper gun round with equal utility and uh, guns on both sides. Yeah, I'm uh, keeping an eye on you and Asperity to try and see how he's going to play with the AWP. And uh... He has got the bomb in hand, Joe, so we won't see any kind of peak here, though, from the ballers, though. I think the only person in close uh, close by is Blaze, and it looks like he's just parking it out on the back end here at the moment. Some interesting things happening, though, in the B side here, having uh, Z Hunter actually moving in towards uh, B slowly, but there's a bit of a push actually coming through here from TGM, and he will... Oh, punished. Yeah, he gets, he's, he gets caught there, so that's a bit unlucky there for him. It was actually a three stack on the B site. They were expecting some early aggression and it didn't really come in. Um, C Hunter, they're going as part of one of their defaults, just uh, holding B to see if they push and punching them for it. As I said, uh, borders do like to push aggressively, probably for information. But uh, now we see a play coming in towards the A site from Long, from SSG. Now, SSG in a good position here right now. Although, oh, look at that. Aeon through the smoke gets hold of Blaze here. And a nice little retake, or sorry, not retake, but take over of the site here. Hulkies with the one frag and the bomb should go down. Having four SSG players left against only the likes of Kubrix and Stoner Cata. I think I said that right? I hope so. I've never actually heard it said out loud. So, um... Stoner Skater. I, I can't really pronounce it. Well, uh, <laughs> in the post uh, plant situation it looks like the cts are going to save their economy is not looking particularly strong at the moment so it's probably advisable that they do so uh, this is the mark of a, of a better team you will find in uh, even in uh, sort of first division cs a lot of the teams don't save when they should uh, you know south african teams gen tend to be very frag hungry um, these guys however playing it correctly and, and saving their weapons living to fight another day seems like ssg is trying to track them down though but i don't think they'll find them in time uh, we're having we're having a little bit of troubles here with the broadcast at the moment. Seems like some of the actual uh, frames are dropping here. I'm not entirely too sure what's causing that, but anyway, guys, um, just trying to fix it up. So I do apologise if there's a little bit of lag on stream. We are fixing it, and hopefully we'll get it sorted out for you guys in the next moment or two. So we are into um, round six here, and uh, looking at it right now, SSG in a good position here. Three two up right now. Aeon, obviously, the top fragger at this moment here. Yeah, Hulky Stoke managing to pick up one himself. And Z Hunter. Weak, uh, coming in from uh, Paulus, so. No, I'm in the majority of players. Only one rifle left. See one player, they're quite aware that he's on B, so they're going to move towards A. It looks like SSG will be able to take um, a site without much in the form of resistance. I think um, Sonicata would look to to hold on to that weapon. And the plant comes in from a spirity. Um, well, I'll just take this opportunity now while uh, it looks like the CT player is actually uh, is actually looking to save the weapon with SSG actively hunting. Um, 
just like to take the opportunity to say thanks for everybody who has tuned in to watch this map. Um, tuned in being a weird word considering we don't have TVs that involve tuning anymore or anything like that. But uh, it's really good to have you guys watching this uh, this game on a Thursday night. And uh, it's looking to be a great game so far. And a bit of a trade coming in there. The um, baller's team losing the rifle, so going into the next round with nothing. Um, their money's all looking fairly even on the CT side at the moment. Um, but they are going to be a little bit light on nades, unfortunately, because a couple of the players are only around 5,000. So going into this round, it's a very make or break round for um, for the baller side because their their buy is a little weak. They got a couple of uh, they got a famas and limited nades. So um, if SSG punish them in this round, it might end up being a double save on the side of the CTs. A timeout happening at the moment. Uh, I'm not sure what for. Possibly a technical issue. I'm just trying to see. Um just from my side here at the moment uh just obviously trying to sort out a few things here with regards to the stream lag so hopefully we've sorted it out now i think it seems to be okay uh, yeah guys if you're having issues with the stream please spam in the stream so that we can ignore you i apologize i don't mean that i'm joking yeah, or well, am i you seem to be coming through a little laggish though on on my side i'm not entirely sure what's actually causing that but uh in any case, it's no biggie. I'll get that sorted out. Hopefully that'll... Uh, but anyway, let's uh, let's get back into the action here. The score now is 4-2. to two. Good start here for SSG. In the beginning, Ballers had two rounds up. And uh, obviously things have changed here. It is a full buy from both sides. We see Outlaw playing with the AWP and then, of course, the Sperity as well. So right now, just having to see what they're going to do. The baller's side, they seem to be a little bit more aggressive here. Blaze actually playing in that lower side area. Nice little frag there from Outlaw, taking down Aeon. And that's going to cause a little bit of frustration or pressure onto the SSG side. They're going to have to kind of compromise having a player down and hopefully deliver on something better. Well, they would have been looking for the refrag, but the angle that uh, Outlaw was playing was quite good. He was able to fall back and stay alive. Um, of course, SSG do have a lot more utility on them, so if they look for a site to execute, there's not a lot that the CTs would be able to do about it. So what the CTs will be looking to do right now is actually catch uh, SSG out and hopefully put down a couple of their players um, before they can use that utility. Uh, right now that bomb still seems like it's going to be going towards the A-side area here. Although we are spotting that uh, Z-Hunter is playing through that connector on the B-side to obviously perhaps force them to go down lowers or um, force a rotation from A. It's really hard to tell exactly. Save it. Uh, 30 seconds on the clock. They're going to have to commit to the site and I think it's going to be B looking at where they're stacked up. 25 seconds left, so leaving it really late. A nice little... Uh, pick off here good position here for stoner skater and uh, he gets the support there from Kubrix and Bla uh, blaze and the bullocks finally get their next well they've round after losing four in a row yeah that's exactly what they needed they kept all five players alive so the economy is going to be a little bit healthier they're still on about two and a half thousand each but um it means at least they'll be able to get another okay buy in if they lose this round. Um, SSG on the other hand had quite a bit of money, but um, they're going to be taking a bit of pain if they drop in this round. So yeah, the game poised on a bit of a knife edge at the moment. It's still early days though, so let's see what happens. Yeah, well, it's a buy up here though for SSG, so things uh, could turn in their favor here yeah, if they get the frags in. Interesting boost that they're from away from the top side area on B from TGN. Obviously, he knows uh, he can call it out if he sees anyone there and hopefully assist with uh, the defense on the B side here. But it does look, lo though, that uh, there's a couple of players on that lower side area. We've got Hulkies and Aeon and Diablo, of course. Interesting spam play here, though, through that uh, wood piece there. It looks like both teams are looking to slow it down just a little bit and uh, see what's going to happen. The next 20 seconds are really going to tell what's going to happen with this round. Um, I would say that SSG are going to go towards A, looking where they're stacking up, looking at where uh, Z Hunter's going now as they lurk. Bring some smoke, so it looks like we're going to have an A execute coming in any, any second now. 
Invitation's still not coming in from uh, from Ballers, so they don't seem wise to it yet. Yeah, here we go. Nice little play there from Diablo, though. Let's see if Blaze can uh, defend it off. He picks up one, he picks up two. And gets taken down here by Aeon. Halki's also in the side here. He's got the aim. He'll get the bomb down here. It's a three on three and looking good here for SSG as the bomb goes down. And right Becky now... Mix is quite low as well, so that might enter into the round as well. And Diablo watching his team's back really well, catching the player rotating in through bathrooms. Now falling back smartly so that uh, Orc can do its work on Hulkies. And the last CC player is looking like he's going to just be running for his life because uh, this round has gone to SSG. Uh, Malenko, or TGM as you guys will see him, yeah, he's uh, going to look to hold on to that weapon for dear life. Still getting some reports of the stream being laggy. We do apologize, guys. Um, it must be a, an ISP or a telecom issue. Um, it's actually just fine on our side. Um, we do apologize profusely, and we blame Jacob Zuma. <laughs> yeah, no, look, I mean, I'm just having a little bit of frame drops here and there, so I'm just obviously trying to see if uh, what the issue could be. And uh, hopefully uh, we'll be able to resolve it in the next couple of minutes. Uh, but for now, guys, uh, let's uh, start off here with round nine. And uh, just looking at the baller's side, you're ready, man down. Your nice little spray down from TGM as he gets two. And that puts the ballers right back at it. But they only have deagles and one rifle, really. Should you can be able to keep another rifle, but no armor on them, unfortunately. So when it comes to those aim duels, the aim punch is going to count quite a bit in SSG's favor. Now we see the Aeon coming in through the lower side area here. Not lowers, but tunnel. Most likely moving up in towards Toxic. There's a bit of a retake. Well, not retake, but they're preparing for a retake here. TGM playing very well here with the M4. Let's see if he can pick up another one here. He's got the support from Kubrix as Hulkies goes down. And Aeon to the rescue here. But it looks like the ballers are all on top of them at the moment. It's a two-on-one. And Asperity here with the AWP is going to have to make it work. Or make it count more so. Yeah, the fact that he's got the AWP actually brings a little bit back into their favor because they can pepper him with gunfire where he's only got the opportunity to get a, an initial shot off. So it's going to be quite an interesting engagement here with the, the pistol versus the AWP. Oh, very nice little frag there from Outlaw with the P250. And the ballers now pick up another round here. So score 4-5 to five, and I think it's still very uh, much in the favor of SSG right now. And, uh, uh, yeah, absolutely. They that is going to favor the terrorists, of course, because now the CTs do have to split themselves, probably two person, two people to a site. Oh, let's uh, let's have a look here. I mean, it is at the moment a little bit more advantageous here for the SSG side because obviously they've got uh, they've they've got more numbers theoretically, even though it's a four on four. They're not uh, spread thin, so they could breach a site and take it quite quickly. Smoke's coming in on A, so it looks like an A execute, or they could be faking, who knows, let's see what happens. Oh, and interesting, they're, they're quite close here f uh, to get into the A site here for the for the breach. I think it most likely would be an A. Look, there are a couple of ballers here waiting, but uh, there we go. TGM out of the picture, and a good start here for SSG as they get into the site here. We see Z Hunter with one pick as well. He'll go down to Kubrix. Bomb will Apparently go down. the stream is offline, I'm told by somebody. I uh, did go offline just temporarily, so that we just had to restart the stream to try and see if we can resolve the issue here with the... Uh... Yeah, so a 3v2 right now with, with the CTs trying to retake. And now a 2v1. Ah, but the frag comes in from Asperity and another round goes to SSG Shark. Uh, they played the off the plant there quite quite uh, cleverly. They didn't push into the site. They just hung back and let the CTs come to them and try to retake the site. So it looks like a bit of a um, a buy is going to come in from from the CT side with a bit of a quasi buy as they got an AWP on on one player and any pistols on three other players. So really make or break this round. Uh, you could see the economy swing totally in the way of in to the side of the T's here if uh, ballers lose this round. So they're going to be looking to use that AWP somewhere and be aggressive with it. Hopefully get some early picks. Wow, Zianta coming in with an excellent frag. They're popping heads, but uh, TGM immediately replies. 
All right, now let's have a look and see if uh, SSG guys can actually m move in towards this A-side area. There are quite a number of ballers there. I think there's two there at the moment with the rotation of uh, TJ TGM coming in here. And SSG obviously just ready to get in towards that A-side area. Look, the, the rotation will work out for them. Blaze picks of one at the moment, so the defense is there. Long side push here from SSG, not really working out at the moment. They need to be very, very careful. Oh, nice little pick there. Asperity out of the way. So that's the AWP dropped. And Hulky having to retreat back. Bombs dropped as well. So Hulky's has actually dropped that smoke to hopefully retrieve it. I don't think the ballers are aware that the bomb was actually there. Otherwise, they may have pushed in uh, through that smoke. A nice little pick off here from Diablo here. Blaze out of the picture. It's a 2 on 3 right now. The T side. Oh no, at the moment with 30 seconds on the clock, they're going to have to call it if they're going to rather retreat back. And by the looks of it, it seems to be the case. Mm, they're going to have to move now though, because um, I think they ran out of time to go towards B, so they're going to push back towards A. Of course, one of the players is still only on a pistol, so they do have every chance here. Oh, well, they're going to be going in towards the A side. Nice little frag here from Hulky, so that's good. Diablo now does is not able to get the shot in, so it's Hulky's man alone. He's got the bomb very down. Low in HP as well, so he's going to have to play this very smartly to actually win this clutch. Tailing the bomb, hopefully hoping to get a reaction, but Hockey tends to be a pretty smart player for that kind of thing, so you can see he's not actually going for it. Just toying with him. Oh, oh it looks like he's going to hold it. Oh, and Hockey picks him off. I think it might be enough. too late for the defuse. Yeah, that's uh, interesting to see. Oh, oh, just in time. Wow, that was an incredible play there. Um, it could have gone really badly for the CTs. There. Thankfully, um, they had 0 0.001 seconds on the clock, just like a movie, and were able to pull it through. Yeah, that was pretty close. A nice little play there from the ballers on the end, managing to get that one off. Unfortunate there for, for Hulkies. I think he could have... Uh, Maybe just a split second later, I think he could have possibly just get the shot in there and that would have uh, bought them enough time to, or bought him enough time to get that bomb blown. But uh, at the moment, 5-6, yeah, SSG in a good position, uh, a really, really good position at that. For something like Overpass, look, I mean, Overpass can tend to, well, tends to be played out 7-8 or 8-7, uh, depending. In, in some cases, but I think um, at the moment they're in a good, like, they're not in a bad position, I would say, specifically with six rounds up as the T side. Yeah, I'd, I'd agree. Um, I do think uh, it's, it looks like they're going to unpause the game. Now, Outlaw just seemed to drop briefly there, but he's back in. Um, so, yeah, I, I think SSG is in a good position. They're not going to be able to bring in a full buy this round. It's more of a force. There's uh, armor on three of the players. So they're just looking to keep their money around 2,000 so they can, can get in a full rifle buy in the next round. But, yeah, if, if SSGs are able to get one more round, I'd really favor them for this map. But I think this round is, is pretty crucial, even though SSG is only on a bit of a quasi buy. Looks like a lot of aggression coming into the B side fast. Yeah, quite a lot. <laughs> a nice little nade kill there at the moment. The ballers do see the, uh, seem like they are in control at the moment of uh, defending off that site. It's only Asperity and Diablo left here for SSG. We do see a frag come Asperity's way, but that's not good enough as the ballers uh, get uh, their sixth round down. So the score is 6-6, six, six, and uh, we'll see the buy coming in here from the SSG guys as well. Yeah, full rifles on them, a li little light on the net, so it's going to be difficult for them to do a smoke heavy execute, but um, I expect to see some trickery from them. They're going to have to do something special to pull this round out um, with only three smokes on their side. Um, but yeah, the, the match is poised to be pretty exciting. Six all on, on overpass. A year ago, T side with six rounds on overpass. What are you thinking? But now the meta has changed. That is true. SSG again going into a bit of a default Z Hunter going towards B side, just waiting to see, to punish any aggression from the CTs or with all the rest of the players going towards short. It's a very common sort of default from teams like Astralis, they like to do it. Uh, Dignitas as well, so yeah, Danish team sort of thing. And absolutely appropriate to copy because Astralis are known as the best uh, overpass team in the world, even though they did choke at the Major, unfortunately for them. <laughs> 
Oh, well, at the moment, it looks like they, they're aiming in towards that A-side area. So there's quite a lot of aggression coming out here, though, from the CTs on long. But it looks like they're going to pull back here. I think they've got enough intel to know that they're going to be coming through bathroom side. Oh, and the lurk picked off there by Kubrick. So now the, the CTs undoubtedly know it's an A. Um, but it looks like uh, Aeon's called for them to pull out. They've still got time, so they can probably go B. They just can't have to make it fast. Otherwise, the CT rotate will come in. And actually, it's really come in, so geez, uh, they're outlaws reading the game really well at the moment. Yeah, you can see SSG you now that with that ro late rotation here, obviously forcing the rotate of the CTs in towards the B side. And they are ready for them at the moment. TGM taking down Aeon right now, and he's a good, in his, he's in a very good position to defend it off here. He should be able to pick up another one. He does, but then goes down to Diablo. Oh, and the trade's coming in 2v2 at the moment, but 13 seconds left. Oh, and Alkis gets the kill. He's unable to plant. We can get the plant in and just extend the round a little bit because I, of course, love SSG. <laughs> oh, this he is going to be quite an interesting one here at the moment. Alto with the AWP, at, as it seems, and Diablo in a good position as well. But Alto might just aim him out. No, he won't. And there we go. SSG get the round. So they needed that to keep afloat. Yeah, um, unfortunately the economy is in a bit of a bad state because all of their players except Diablo died, so they actually all around 3,200. It's going to be a bit of a difficult buy. You're going to see Tech Nines coming into this round for them. The CTs, on the other hand, had some good money on some of their players, so um, it looks like they're just going to even out the money, getting some armor and pistols, and uh, looking to save for the next round so they can get in a full buy. Yeah, this is uh, round 14. Yeah, obviously the penultimate round before the last uh, one of the half. And uh, Ballers right now, a little aggressive play on this connector. They might actually just uh, engage with them during that, uh, well, at the door side here. TGM moving in towards B, obviously feeding the intel through to the team. The rest of the team know that they're not going to be there, so there might be a rotation. As we see towards that B side, Kubricks and Blaze and Outlaw are moving up towards A. Uh, beg your pardon. Yeah, there's a full... Um Ro rotate in behind the T's actually coming in from Outlaw. He's coming from T-Spawn, so if... The T's aren't careful, they're going to be a flinch out. Oh, well, at the moment, things are looking okay, except that TK here for the SSG guys. But uh, they've, done the, they've done the damage right now, so the bomb will go down, and only two players left from Ballers coming through. We do see TGM pick up one, but it's not good enough here. And, uh, yeah, um, I, I'm actually feeling quite uh, nostalgic because I was known as the team killer on SSG, and I'm not there doing it tonight, so... That's unfortunate, but uh, you, you instead have to endure my sultry tones in casting. <laughs> Your sultry tones in casting. <laughs> oh, we can go dulcet tones or velvet tones if you like. But yeah, we're going into the last round on uh, on uh, the first half of Overpass. Let's see what happens. Full buys coming in from both teams, except uh, CT's a bit lighter than nades. Yeah, they are quite light. Well, not too bad. I guess they got three smokes and a good couple of flashes and HEs here. But uh, I'm, I'm really keen to see what will happen now in this last round it's a full buy on both sides and they are moving in towards the a side slowly but surely specifically that a long no awp here for ssg nor for the ballers right now so that a long should be evenly contested the sneaky boost there from uh, the ct side but uh, falling back now that they lost the player on b from the lurk of ssg putting some aggression towards long and actually pulling up picking up one player but then getting punched for it I did a good job there with the flash, uh, but unfortunately not good enough. Ooh, caught with a grenade in the hand there. Aeon going down to Blaze, and at the moment we see a three on two. But Blaze. Uh, the SSG player is really low, so I think the T's a good chance, yeah. The CT's a good chance, sorry. Oh, well, I'm not too sure. Blaze was uh, very unlucky there getting caught. He was in the right spot there, but I think he got blinded out. But, uh, well, Kubrick's at the moment. This is quite interesting to see. They didn't get the bomb down here, so this is this is a big problem right now for SSG. They've got about 34 seconds on the clock, so they can make it happen. Yeah, they're actually trying to fake out um, the CT, make him think that they're going towards B. And as as you can see, it's actually worked, because now Kivrix is running towards B, except he's just heard them. SSG made the mistake of running there, unfortunately. Yeah, but bomb. they get the bomb down. Oh, bomb will go down, and there we go. Diablo getting the last bullet in of the half, and the score right now, 9-6. to six. Good one year for SSG. And uh, it looks like the stream is stabilized. Touch wood. Yeah, I'm getting good uh, good feedback from people in my friends list. No more abuse. Um, so, yeah, my mom's gone. Um, but, yeah, my, my friends aren't abusing me either. <laughs> Your mom's <laughs> gone. 
Uh, interesting one. Well, score nine six right now. Ballers have all of it to play for. Um, they need uh, at least to get the pistol around here and the following two. But uh, yeah, things very, can very change. Very strong uh, T half there from SSG. They're in a bit of a commanding position, so it does require that uh, ballers put in a pretty big round here. Well, we see them now moving in towards this lower side area and then moving up towards the bathroom. And Aeon under pressure right now. He's got the USP. He might be able to take down one. He does actually. Yeah, very well done from him. He was bum there by five terrorists and he actually kills one of them. Yeah, right now Z Hunter also with the USPS just doing the damage necessary. Picks off two here. He's going to go around the corner, probably pick off a third, which he does. And he has done all of it necessary, well, all the necessary damage right now. He'll get the 4K on the end of it as well. And SSG Shock pick up the pistol around here, but the bomb was planted, so that could prove to be difficult for them in the third round if Ballers decide to buy up. Well, the game is getting a bit away from ballers. I don't know if I was in their position, I might be tempted to force buy this round just to uh, try to keep the CT economy in check. It looks like they're not going to do that, but whoever listens to me ever, except you poor victims on the other end of the stream. <laughs> well, look, I mean, it's only four rounds difference yeah, so that could change up, to be honest. I, I think they've got uh, they've got enough rounds to play with. They'll probably sacrifice this one right now. It's got a lot of SMGs, actually, on the SSG side. Only one rifle, to be exact, but that's because of the 4K of Z Hunter. And we'll see now ballers moving in towards the bathroom side area. So they are focusing on that A once again. Let's have a quick look and see who's waiting for them. It is Aeon with the UMP. Oh, gets the double kill there. There is two in exchange. Z Hunter not even picking up one with that M4 and has lost it, which means that uh, Stone Skater picks it up. Or Stoner Skater. I'm just assuming that's how you pronounce his name. The Stony Guy. Yeah, the Stony Guy. He's coming around here with a little bit of a loop, so this should be a pretty good. Yeah, nice little play there from Hulk. So, oh, Asperity catching in there with a P90. And that is it. SSG remain victorious with three players. Yeah, um, unfortunately, Aeon, I, I do understand, is actually suffering from pretty heavy package loss. If you've seen when you spec him, he's sort of teleporting. Um, but yeah, that actually works out okay if you've got a um, SMG, SMG on you. I just uh, shudder to think what's going to happen when he's got an M4 in his hands, because that's going to be pretty hard to land shots. Uh, but uh, if we look at this buy, it's the first gun round now from both sides. Um, well, there, there, there's that buy that I, that I mentioned, obviously. Are you still there, Mr. Mike? Seems I like indeed. Sorry, I timed out again for a second. I'm having a bit of issues with my connection. Uh, likewise, don't worry. But anyway, are we into round 18 here at the moment. Things are looking pretty grim right now here for the ballers' side. They need to pick up a couple of rounds to keep themselves in the game. And then, of course, uh, at this moment in time, that bomb moving in towards the A-side area. Very aggressive play coming in here, though, from the SSG guys in bathrooms. So they're going to be looking after the long side and waiting for any sort of push here into bathrooms. They are teamed up there, if I'm not mistaken. That is uh, Mr. Z Hunter and Aeon. Get to be falling back though. Um, in time for the T to actually backstab Ooh. them. Yeah, that's a bit unfortunate there. Good smoke off though here from Aeon. He'll be able to keep the sight, hopefully, for enough uh, before the rest of his team actually bitches up. No rotation. Well, there is a bit of a rotation coming in here. And now they fall back. That's quite interesting. Another fallback here from Ballers. They're not too sure what, what's actually potting. It looks like they're probably going to be going down lowers. But look at that. Hulkies and Diablo is waiting for them in the B side. So if that's going to happen right now, Aeon the only one in there. And we see Asperity probably moving in towards uh, A here as well. So it's going to be 2-2. Two -two. But looking very good actually at the moment here for the Ballers side if they can get the entry. As I say, they do there from TGM and Q-Rex on both sides. Oh, this is uh, proving to be a little bit tougher for Asperity, but at the moment he picks up oh. three and just not good enough there. Managing to take down three of them. Fantastic aiming there from Asperity, really. Yeah, Asperity going beast mode there. Um, very impressive from him. If he had an AK in his hands, I think he could have done it. Uh, he actually ran out of ammo there. Oh, that was a bit unfortunate there for him. <laughs> yeah, so the full save coming in now from... Uh, well, full save in the sense that there's P250s, um, but you call it a save in, in CS these days. Nobody ever really does USP, a full USP save. Looking to put out some aggression towards uh, Fountain. 
Oh, they might be able to catch him here, actually, at the moment. So a nice little play there from Aeon, managing to take down one. There is two that will go down on that fountain side area, but we see Hulkies now waiting for the Lurk to just kind of peek out right now. TGM is aware that there is a CT just kind of backing up or backing down more so going in towards the low side area here that is Aeon yeah, they do appear to be hunting him so they're very aware of where he is I think but he only has a USP so I don't think he can do too much oh look at that stone escape to right in the corner they're taking him down well look I mean I've, I've seen some really hectic uh, eco upsets before and uh, with P250s at, at that and obviously things have changed yeah it does case. happen but unfortunately here, yeah, the only people going to be upset is SSG, because they're not going to win this round. Yeah. Uh, possibly a bit of a backstab coming here on Stunner Skater. Ah, oh, come on, come on. Oh, nope. I think Diablo is just more so just uh, weary about it at the moment. It's quite interesting that they don't try and actually just go for gun picks here, and just kind of take the guns and hope, hope for the best, you know? One or two AKs won't, won't hurt them at all. No, I think um, they're just both out of position because of that early engagement. So it's very difficult to take a an angle that P250 is going to really do anything on this A site, unfortunately. It's quite an open site, so you know, as you see the terrorists just move in and take it with ease. Oh, there's not much resistance there in that A site at all. But we do though see um, one of the SSG players is close by. That is Hulkies. In that bathroom side area, he's obviously going to try and pick up a gun. Yeah, we see Diablo, though. He's picked up one. So he's going to save it. That's good for them. But I think ballers need this round if they want to keep themselves in the game. They are capable of actually winning it as well. We have to always keep that in, uh, in mind. Although this is an SSG map. Well, as I did mention earlier in scrims, uh, SSG were utterly wrecked by ballers on this map. So... Bit hard to call right now, but SSG have been working very hard on because of the last two to ballers, so uh, I expect it to see them being quite strong on it. That's interesting, I didn't actually know that. Yeah, um, we also dropped this map, uh, we as an SSG also dropped this map to um, XTC at DGC in a, in a best of three. Uh, that, this being their strongest map, they actually beat DC on it in the same tournament. But yeah, a bit of a uh, Low nade, sort of buy, full buy coming in from SSG now. So this this round is very much make or break. If they lose this, the economy is going to be reset again. But it looks like a lot of aggression going towards B side now. Oh, nice little entry play here at the moment. Hulk is doing quite well managing to get one, but uh, he gets overwhelmed here by Blaze in the AK-47. Bomb will go down here. A lot of the SSG players coming in through Connector. Bomb goes down, and look at that little double spray down there from Outlaw. Oh, Whoa, just what they needed. Just. Very. Right in the face. That was very, very cool to watch. Yeah, unfortunate for the SSG players there that they actually lined up perfectly. Um, they really should have staggered that peak. Um, but yeah, the excitement of the early entries, I think they would have been sort of trying to rush it before the bomb went down. Just yeah. catching him as he had the gun in his hand, unfortunately for them. But really well played. Well, it's quite interesting to see where these uh, where these guys are going at the moment. Two guys going in towards the B side area and a couple coming down lowers. This might actually work down, work out for SSG if they're quick enough with the rotation. Oh, Kubrick's under pressure and he will pick up two though, but then it the does go down. Asperity picking him down. We will see though SSG Asperity actually picking up the one there. Bomb will go down here for the baller's side, so they in control right now. Only a player down. A nice little. Spread on there from Stoner Skater. Score right now 10 11. And we'll see the buy come in here from the SSG team once again. They're looking a bit stronger than their last buy. They're going to have a bit more nades. They're going to have the Orphan Asperity. So they've, they've got every chance now. Of course, the ball aside, now I have got lots and lots of dirty, dirty money because uh, they've been uh, farming money with those uh, SMGs in the last round. I like what you mean when you say dirty, dirty money. <laughs> I haven't heard that before, but it's true. I've been farming quite a bit. And uh, right now, defense, defense, defense for the SSG guys. They can not want to allow any of the ballers moving in towards the A side. Of course, ballers wanting to get that bomb down and secure the site. And uh, just having a quick look at the overview here, it does look like that bomb is kind of moving, well, possibly could move this way or even go down the lower side area. It's really give or take. 
Uh, a bit of a slower sort of round coming in from Borders. Generally, they're early, they're quite aggressive early, as as I've said multiple times. Um, but here they're playing it a little bit slower and just seeing what they what they can get. Oh, no, they've changed direction. You can see the bomb now in towards the B side area here. Very slow play here, the actual fact. Fifty seven seconds. It's possibly a little bit too slow because they actually have no information of where the CTs are. The CTs have been sitting in the site, so they're also equally blind. Um, but what it has allowed the CTs to do, as you see Diablo dropping that smoke, is that they've kept the utility. So now they could actually smoke the, um, the T's out for quite a bit because now SSG will be aware that there's a couple of guys on B. Yeah, what's interesting to see is Aeon actually moving in now closer towards... Uh that B site here, in actual fact he's actually joined the guys at B, so there's some good defense waiting here at the moment. Needs to be careful on the connector side though, as uh, they do try and push through here. Aeon, I mean, sorry, the ball is now 18 seconds on the clock, they have to make a decision, and here they go, in towards the B side. Nice little play here from, a nice crossfire from Hulk, he's coming in as well on the rotation, and that locks the ballers right down, and will give uh, the SSG team their 12th round here. Even though they do lose a player, but still, two AWPs. Yeah. That was good for SSG. Um, losing the players that does leave those players on very low money. They really couldn't afford those lives. But yeah, you know, human lives are cheap. So what can you do? Well, what's quite interesting to see is the dual all play here coming out from SSG right in the end of it. Do you think that they're capable to actually use it to their advantage? Ah, uh, yeah, Hockey's is often the second AWP in SSG. Um, He's sort of a part-time AWPer, but um, yeah, he hits his shots well. Oh. You'll, you'll see the AWP here towards B as well with the early aggression. Well, as we say that, well, Halkis picks up one with the AWP. Make that two. He's on fire right now. That's oh, exactly. He flashed. Yeah. But, uh, we interrupting. <laughs> we see, we see Blaze though, taking him eventually down, getting into the site there. So good position he is in. Oh, there's a bit of uh, blind characters there at the moment, but. Uh, Oof, it looks very difficult right now here for the SSG guys, but Ball is doing very well, managing to get into the side. They have not planted the bomb though, that is the problem, until we saw that frag. So that does give them the opportunity to do so, if they can get in there and just get the bomb down. We do see Aeon in close, uh, close quarters here, in the connector side area. They're going to have to make their move. Well, they've got some time here, 50... Odd seconds in the clock here. Yeah. Asperity with the AWP. He's going to try and knock one out. Yeah, there he does. And Kubrick's out of the picture here. We should see the bomb go down. That's the bomb dropped, actually. Oh, right. You are Lying correct. Lying on top of the double stack box. So that's going to be very hard to recover. I actually thought they were going to go for the plant there, but I didn't notice it was actually dropped. It's a stone yeah, skater. Yeah, a flank coming in there. Eh? He gets the pick there. Won't pick up the AWP though, but he needs to be careful here because Aeon is close by. And 16 to 17 seconds on the clock. Oh, look at this. Is Aeon going to actually pull pull out or push through? Is he going to be sneaky? I don't think that was the right thing to do because right now we see Stanisketa in the right position to take him down. And that's a good round here for the ballers actually, eh? Oh yeah, that's going to reset the CT economy there on SSG Shark as well, unfortunately for them. Um, so they're only going to be on pistols, but it looks like a, f a force fight coming in. Aeon's already bought up a pistol armor and all full nades. Unfortunately there, I think for, for SSG, I don't think they noticed that the bomb actually dropped on top of the, the wooden stack. If they'd known that, um, I th think as soon as uh, the, the player from Borders smoked it off, if Aeon had pushed it, he probably would have killed him. It's really interesting though. I, I thought they actually did know about it, but it didn't look like it was the case this time. So, eco round here, obviously, for the, well, it's kind of like a semi buy up though, from the CT side. Actually paying off quite nicely. Nice little play from Zianta and Aeon, picking up one each. And there is the response here from Ballers with two. Diablo also picking up another one himself. Then, TGM trading off Asperity. So, it is a two on two right now, and the Ballers are moving that bomb in towards the A side long area. Yeah, SSG would have seen it, so they're going to rotate in, but uh, they don't want to be caught with their pants down. Um, the players are quite low on uh, the side, so now as they plant, it's going to be a, a bit of a confrontation, but it looks like the flank's a bit late. Oh, it is a bit late, you are correct. We will see. Not too sure. It is Hulkies coming in from the A-long side area there. 
But both the, the CT players are, or sorry, the T-side players from Ballers are waiting in bathroom side, so they should be able to protect that bomb as they try to defuse, and it makes it extremely tough right now here for the CT side. Let's see what Kubrick's can do. A very interesting Molotov right now. Nice little play here from Diablo with the one frag at the moment. Uh, Kubrick picks up the double on the end there, and actually the 4K to keep Ballers uh, in this game 12 apiece. Yeah, the force fire not working out there for SSG, so they're now in a bit of a tough situation. They're going to have to probably uh, full save this round, maybe even a double save. Um, but yeah, the uh, board is playing it perfectly there with no kit on the side of the CTs. Um, they needed to kill those T players early, and with uh, the Ts falling back as they did, it didn't give the CTs any chance of, of rechecking that side. Yeah, I think at the moment what the CTs really need is just information. We'll see TGM coming in from the low side area. He will spot Asperity there and take him down. And there we go. The ballers open up their first uh, frag for the round. Now it's all up for them to get into that A side area here. We only do those C. Perhaps only one player kind of lurking around on that side. And I think it is... Z Hunter here with a P2000. It's going to be very tough for him to take a couple of frags, but he is capable of doing so. I know they're going to bury him. Well, let's just have a quick nice, look. But he has a P2K, so I don't really see what he's going to do here. Ah, oh, nothing much of that. There we go. Ball is on towards the A side area. We see the late rotation coming in here from the CTs from behind. A on the only one managing to pick up the frag there. He's going to try and see if he can maybe find himself a gun. Not going to be the case this time, and Ballers take the lead since uh, the second round, actually, in uh, this map. 13-12, and they're only three rounds away from taking it. Let's see if this buy up here from SSG will draw things out once again. Yeah, this is the make or break round of the match. If the CTs lose this round, then the map is pretty much lost because they will have no money. Um, but uh, going into this round, if Ballers uh, lose it on the other hand, then SSG maybe have a chance. Oh, look at this. He catches one, but doesn't get the other one there. TGM managing to trade him off. Let's see if... Uh, oh, not very good for the uh, the AWPA right there. Asperity out of the picture very, very quickly and early in the round. He has Outlo take him out. Oh, sorry, takes him out. Yeah, takes him out for dinner, lunch, whatever he wants. As long as he does. <laughs> so, it's looking what about dessert? For, for now. Well, I don't know, dessert. I don't, I don't think... It. Asperity particularly enjoys ice cream. <laughs> Doesn't look like that kind of guy. Well, as I said, they're coming in here from the tunnel side area right now. There's one of the CTs in Toxic Diablo, but he does go down, and Ballers are on a roll right now. Moving in very, very rapidly. Halkies will go down as well to the hands of Outlaw. The bomb should go down in any minute or any moment. Yeah, things looking great for Ballers right now. Um, they're really poised to take this map. So Yance is just going to try to hold on the orb that he's recovered from the corpse of the deceased disparity. Uh, but Ballers will be keen to hunt him down because they'll know how crucial it is uh, to take a gun off him and leave SSG with nothing. I mean, at the moment they've actually just you know lost one guy. Kubrick's the only one going down there. And uh, obviously Z Hunter, he wants to keep the AWP. It's the only thing they've got left that could possibly keep him in the game. Let's have a quick look at the frags here actually. And it uh, see, seems to be quite even across the board here for all of the guys. Obviously uh, expecting guys like Diablo to have slightly lower lower frags. Ah uh, yeah, Diablo being the uh, reserve for SSG so he doesn't regularly play with them unfortunately. Yeah, but I think uh, he's probably playing a support role. Yeah, so the, uh, the tactical pause coming in now. So Aeon will be brainstorming. Uh, Firing off some neurons, spending some uh, some brain power on how he could overcome this problem. That is borders. See what I would actually do is just buy up a whole bunch of from us uh, from us rifles. Th that's my called it because it looks like, like that's what they're doing. Yeah, because I mean the from us is pretty much really much on par there with uh, with well not exactly but very close to the AK-47 and the M4 with regards to firepower. I mean that thing can really do the damage. I mean, in most cases, if I don't really do well with an M4, I just pick up the FAMAS and there I go and, and, and it works for me. So that's a very under, almost underappreciated gun in my opinion. I think it's a gun that can really do the damage when necessary and in, in tight situations like these. And I think 
if SSG can pull this one off, they got an AWP, they can make it work. We might, we yeah. might see another round for them. They're gonna look look to play off the AWP. Um, the only thing for them is they don't have really any utility. The only player with real utility is the guy with the AWP who may die at the beginning of the round and lose all all of said utility. But the buy looking very weak with an ump and a scout on them, so they're gonna have to pull out something creative to win this round. Yeah, and interesting seeing the scout actually come into play. Zians is obviously going to play alongside, so I'm really keen to see where Asperity is going to hang out. Yeah, it's going to be that side. Oh, he just misses the player there after being flashed. But that flash grenade, he needs to be careful on how he's going to position himself, not opening himself up too much. That bomb is, though, looking toward, towards uh, bathroom side or birthday birthday place. I think that's uh, what they call birthday it. Birthday party. Birthday party, sorry. Because it's my party and I will cry if I want to, damn it. <laughs> Well, let's see if uh, SSG can actually defend this off here. They've got a couple of masses and that AWP. Oh, look at this, the UMP not making the damage. That would have helped out a lot if they actually got it right. But uh, oh, oh, look at wall. that. Halky spraying down Outlaw through the wall. And as we say that, the ball is now moving in towards the A-side area. Look at the rotation coming in quick here from B. Aeon is going to be under pressure right now. And Z-Hunter with uh, the scout rifle is trying his best to keep himself in the game. He does take down Kubrick's right now. And he does spot all the other three guys. Aeon also working the magic here with a FAMAS. And a fantastic defense here at the moment. Look at that jumping shot there from Z-Hunter taking down Stoner Skater and TGM, the last one left here. Look at SSG pulling this game in. Well, not in their favor just yet, but in their favor this fire. round. Yeah. The flank coming in now, so I expect TGM to be pushing up daisies anytime now, and there he goes. Oh, what play there from SSG. Really, really defensive play that did the work there. Z-Hunter specifically getting the P250 kill and using the scout there with a jumping shot. Score right now, 14-13, and SSG, well, they're still in the game. We'll see better rifles come out now, AK-47, and Diablo keeping that from us. Very good choice. Full stack of AK and AKs and utility here from Ballers. Let's see what they'll do. Yeah, this this round, again, I keep saying make or break, but geez, it's going to be make or break. And that was my TV newscaster voice, just for anybody wondering. <laughs> TV newscaster. But now we see uh, Borders running up long towards that A-site. Is that better? More TV newscaster. Oh, that sounds about right, yeah. A bit yeah, of a sportscaster. But anyway, uh, interesting one here, though. Borders now moving in towards the long side here. Three guys waiting in that A-site area here. So this is going to be interesting to see. Outlaw flashed out here, so they know they're around here, but they do get the frag. Z-Hunter picks up one. And is there rotation from the B-site area? That's the real question. Nice little smoke off here from Aeon as well. He'll keep them at bay. And there is the late rotation coming in here from the T-sides as well. They're going to be moving in towards probably the lower side area. Or maybe force that rotation over towards B. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be happening. The rotation is going to work in SSG's favor right now. They're leaving TGM behind. Oh, no, Asperity with the AWP. He just needs to knock one of them out of the park. And there we go. But I think SSG's well has read their game it's going to be quite a tough battle here for Diablo and Hulkies let's see if this uh, Famas can make it well, do the work 28 seconds on the clock there we go the first one coming in but they are gonna are they pulling back that's a real question yeah they are going to be going up towards oh look at this late rotation here from the T side they're going to be going back. yeah Oh, look at oh, this! No, wait, Asperity is around. He might call it out. He gets the one shot here with the A AWP. He's going to go up here. Aeon is around with the AK-47. Another rotation in. Good little play here from Aeon. He gets the double hit shot. And all of a sudden, Kubrick's man alone here. He needs to frag one off. He does. He's got two or three to go through. He gets another one. Can he keep himself in the game against the FAMAS? No, he won't. And there we go. SSG draw it up. 14 wow, apiece. Around. Uh, yeah, edge of edge, edge of my seat stuff. Yeah, um, I must say the um, SSG over committing a little bit on on the the lone player that left there from Ballers. It could have gone totally awry, and it could have been a big uh, Hiko, are you kidding me moment there out of him. But no, denied in the end. <laughs> uh, the Hiko, are you kidding me moment. I like that. <laughs> well, a strong buy coming in now from both uh, both teams. Uh, with that bomb plant um, being pretty essential to the money on the side of Ballers now. Uh, um, Got an AWP as well, which is they haven't had for a couple of rounds. So let's see what uh, Blaze can do with it. 
Uh, TGM managing to stay ahead here on the frag list. 25 frags. He's done a very, very good job here for the ballers right now. SSG, as you can see, very defensive more so in this case. No real peaking or kind of uh, pushing through. And it is I don't think you'd see a lot of aggressiveness from them because their their money's in a pretty precarious position too. The game is is really poised to go either way, so I think they're going to play it safe. Yeah, I think that's the best choice uh, here in this case. It looks like the bo well bomb is kind of sitting there in birthday party side, so outlaw needs to be very careful not to peek too far. He might just get his head chopped off here by one of the SSG players or shot off more so. That would be the case. Head chopped off French Revolution. All good. Oh, TGM also in a very interesting spot. He gets taken down though there from Diablo. Does it force a rotation on the B side? Oh, sorry, on the A side towards the B side area here. Look at Blaze. Blaze in a very cool spot. Lovely They're boost. taking taking the shot there on Z Hunter. And the rotation will happen here. AWP in effect here. A Asperity doing the work. Blaze needs to try and count him with the AWP. He does. Nice little play here. And ballers are moving in towards the side slowly but surely. As Blaze you, taking a very forward position as well. Oh, with that AWP, very dangerous move. But uh, let's see what he'll do with it. Kind of retracting back in towards the long side area here. Oh, look at Stunner Scatter doing the work here. Aeon out of the picture right now. He's going to try and pick him up. Well, pick up another one, which he does. Diablo works it out there with the AK-47. He's the last one left to keep SSG in this game. And it's not going to happen as Ballers picks up their 15th round here. I accidentally played that from Blaze. Blaze was really the man who opened up that site by taking down Zianta when he overpeaked it long and then uh, getting a really good angle on Asperity as he, as he jumped up there and uh, again from the same angle on Diablo. But yeah, SSG's money under a lot of strain right now. Um, a Scout and a Famas. Two Famas is in fact. So yeah, um, they're going to have to again pull out something very creative and something very sexy to win this round. Otherwise, uh, it looks like the, the match is going towards Baller's way. Oh, well, look at Ballers right now. They are pushing in towards this B-side area very rapidly, but we do see a lot of CDs in the picture. Nice little play here from Diablo. He takes down one, and then Ballers respond with another. Can Diablo pick off two? He does at the moment. It's trade for trade. Look at Hulk. He's in the right position right now. We might actually see a draw here. Bomb will go down, so Outlaw gets the ultimate uh, goal in place. Maybe one 8 HP on Outlaw now. All of a sudden, hard plays here right now. Aeon needs to be careful. He needs to check his side. Outlaw is waiting for him at the moment. Gets the frag shot, and at the moment, it doesn't look very good for Z Hunter as he gets shot down there. And look at Outlaw here, just playing with experience right now. Trying his best to keep that CT off that bomb. He's going to come around the corner. Does he get the shot? No, he doesn't. Both on low HP. Oh, what's going to happen? And it is going to be Ballers taking the first map here. What good plays. Wow. Yeah, wow. Gotta catch my breath. Whew. That was great. <laughs> yeah, winning the knife round is good. Um, obviously, CT is where you want to be on this map, but um, losing in such close fashion on the last map might have tilted them. Um, that does happen to a lot of teams when you lose in the in the last seconds. It feels like you're gonna win, and then the game just slips away from you. So hopefully, they were able to mentally reset themselves in the little bit of a break that we had and come back and actually make a game of it. Um, Ball is poised, I think. Um, to win this, I would favor them on this map. So let's see what they what they're going to do on the on the first round. Looks like they're going towards B. Yeah, it looks like uh, they're going to be playing on that inside area here. We might see a drop down little ladder. Um, uh, please excuse me if I use uh, some of the older terminologies in this. I am not too familiar about the new call, the new names, but uh, I'm sure you'll understand what I mean. Might actually just get a drop. Well, it looks like they're probably going to be going on the inside. So, interesting position here for uh, Stunner Skater. Obviously, just waiting for any sort of kind of aggression through that IV side coming up in towards uh, that. And uh, here we see Ballers just taking it very slow here for the first round, really. Eh? Yeah, this is she's got a good read on it. They got three people in the side. The smokes are coming in from Ballers. So, well, it's not going anywhere though. So, this is curious. Let's see what they're going to do. Maybe a double fake. It could be the case here. Yeah, they're all lined up and towards that back. We see a flashy going down the little ladder side as they move in towards the inside here. TGM smoke. We're getting ready for the smoke up here. And 
as we see that smoke up come through here let's see if uh, diablo can keep them at bay he does outlaw out of the picture here nice little start here for the ssg shock guys on the defense here they've got enough players in the site right now and the uh, bomb needs to go down which it doesn't actually nice little play there from ssg we see hulk he's coming in with the usbs as well he's going to try and see if he can challenge and he does get his 2k or 3k sorry there, hulk, he's with the money shot Ooh, this is a kid's show. Oops. Uh, well, that's 1-0 uh, up here now for the SSG guys. So things are looking good for them. They just need to kind of snowball it in towards those double figures. And that should keep them in a good position going into the second half. Yeah, no bomb plant coming in. So um, unfortunately, they're going to have to be on a full spy and rushing out of main now. Well, let's see if Aeon and his team can keep them at bay. He has got an MP7 at hand here. We see the UMP also from Z Hunter. Asperity also adding to the tally right now. Bomb still not down here for the ballers, but uh, we do see Kubrix inflicting quite a bit of damage here. Stoner Scatter here with the Tech 9. Let's see if he can keep himself uh, busy by taking a frag or two. He knows where Z Hunter is sitting at the moment. Very low HP on the SSG side though, so um, if the two players in A can be taken down quickly, then. Oh, uh, and never mind. <laughs> I was trying to set it up there for the exciting finish, but SSG, denied. <laughs> denied. Denied. That reminds me of Quake. I actually miss Quake, to be honest. Hey, what do you know? Also, Doom about to be released uh, soon. I think the beta's coming out, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, pretty excited about that. Some of my CSGO friends are actually playing the beta. So, um, yeah, excited no, to give that a out, go. Yeah. Well, yeah, full, full block buy coming in now, so no money on the side of the, the T's, and they're just going look, to look, look to rush B, I think. Yep, definitely full block buy it is, and uh, let's see if they can get into that rush top. Rush B, play it. <laughs> Take a play it. Oh, well, let's see if they can get a frag off here. These double, uh, Diablo picking up a 2k, he's going to try and pick up 3. He actually does, a nice little 3k there for him. Aeon also adding one to his tally. This should be a pretty easy one here for the SSG team. As uh, Hulkies picks up the last frag, yeah, 3 0 as expected. No bomb plants, and uh, well, the buy up coming in out from Ballers. Let's see what SSG can do. Yeah, pretty solid start from uh, SSG. Um, the buy is a little strange from, from them. Uh, it looks like Z Hunter's going to stay with the ump. Um, or not, okay, so he does actually go to the M M4. That we did see expecting. quite a lot of players over the weekend at uh, the MLG Major actually stay with Ump for the MP9, even though they could have bought. So I, I wondered if Aeon was in the next level of CS meta there. No, we but saw no. that as well. We saw that as well on the local local scene on the competition this weekend. They actually did the same thing, which was quite interesting to see. Yeah, the armor penetration value of the Ump is actually very good. So you, you can, if you're close, uh, does as much damage as an M4 close up. Well, let's see if Asperity can actually pick up the shot here with the AWP. He's just waiting for the peak right now. Bomb is sitting in towards uh, that uh, CT connect or T side connector or T side Z. Good smoke off here. Oh, that's going to be a bit of trouble there. Z Hunter getting TGM on the first pass here. Kubrick's very far back. He'll get his frag there on Aeon. So good exchange here for the ballers. Let's see yeah, I'm playing for a bit of information there, hoping to see you. You know, confirm that it's a B push and unfortunately getting punished for it. Now the the CTs will be in a bit in the dark as to where the T's are actually going because uh, they don't have any information on B. Well, at the moment, let's see if they'll set up a few smokes. It looks like they are setting up a few smokes here for the A side. Yeah. Let's see yeah, the, the wall of smokes incoming. Yep. Here we go. Smokes it is, and all over the place they will fall for the breach play here. Let's see if the ballers can get into the side, get the bomb down. It is the buy right here for them, so they want they want to do it. Nice little defense off here from Asperity with the AWP. Z Hunter also in a good position. He should be able to loop around and maybe take one or two. He gets one. Does not get the second. And Diablo also in the right position, though. He should be able to pick up a frag or two. Hulk is doing well there with the FAMAS. And a nice little retake here from the SSG guys, and that will give them their fourth round. Yeah, a bit of a risky play there from Hulk. He's to challenge the player with a theoretically stronger rifle on his own. Um, he should have probably waited for his teammate. We could have been put into a 1v1 situation there, but Hulk, he's a very clutch player that he is, pulls it through. And, and yeah, the wall of smoke's all wa almost working there for ballers. Well, almost did, but uh, he had the full mask, let's be honest. That's one hell of a gun. I don't know, I think Barry would argue with you about the ump being one hell of a gun, but, you know. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, round five here, and SSG Shock 4-0 up right now, looking good. It's another buy up here from the ballers because of the bomb plant. We will expect them to buy up a couple of AKs. And not that much utility, though, but uh, they'll, I'm sure they'll make it work with two smoke grenades and a few flashes. Yeah, they're going to have to do something together. Probably b site, I would think, because A is very difficult to take against the AWP of Asperity um, with, without proper utility. So, yeah, let's see what they do. Um, playing it very, very slowly, very, very defensively, actually, on both sides. So not much happening at the moment. Yeah, it's very slow play here from Ballers, but if you have a quick look on where that bomb's sitting, that bomb is making its decision still, so it's not going anywhere. Might be going A, might be going B, it really depends on where they get the frag. But it, we do though see a, maybe a po possible kind of default setup here through the lower side area and then through A main. And the oh, looks like they're hitting A full force. Yeah, and uh, a couple of smoke offs here from the Ballers side, this uh, might actually work out for them here. Although Blaze is low on the HP, he needs to be quite careful. He's going to try and go in for the frag. He does get one, but uh, SSG return with two. TGM has got his work cut out for him here. Yeah? He's already low on the HP, but uh, Stannis Kedder also kind of waiting for the rotation, which I think will never happen. As Hulk is, uh, is more than aware that uh, there might be some trouble happening on the inside if they decide to kind of take a late rotation. TGM also in a good spot here, gets off one. Uh, catches the rotation actually. So now fully committed to the A side, gonna plant the bomb. Well, very good play here actually from the baller's side. Kind of caused a bit of confusion here. It is Hulkies and Asperity left. Hulkies picks up one, he's got two more to go. He needs his support. And that's what happens when he goes down. A nice little play here from Stone Escada. Picks up uh, the first round here for the baller's side. So, well, let's see if uh, SSG. No, I don't think they're gonna reply back because look at the finances video. Really, eh? Yeah, they've been, there's been a lot of close sort of 1v1 or 1v2 sort of rounds, so only Diablo with any significant money, so SSG would be well advised to just do a pistol buy and uh, save for the next round since they've already got a bit of a lead, but yeah, a bit surprising, you would think they'd have a bit more money, right? Yeah, I mean, after four rounds, or after five rounds at least, just losing one, maybe just, uh, maybe just a bit heavy on the utility there. Not at all, it's just, it's just the nature of CS these days. Um, Oh, the AWP in a bit of trouble. Oh, Asperity takes him down. Oh, very yeah, good just, uh, CT side generally is very, very expensive. Everything costs more and uh, don't get things like bomb plants for extra money. So, very difficult. You've got to win a lot of rounds in a row. Oh, Asperity there with Aeon actually doing the damage quite nicely. Taking down two of the ballers players and then going down. We'll see Kubrick picking up the AWP here. I don't think he is the second AWP player, I would probably put it into TGM's hands if uh, if it was me, but you know, I might be wrong. Yeah, I think he just wants to save it from um, any of the SSG players getting their hands of it on it now that they know they killed somebody there. Yeah, let's just see what Stone and Scatter can do here. He's aided by a teammate, unfortunately. Well, look at the sneaky little bomb plant right now, nice little play here from Stone and Scatter, and Kubrix will pick up uh, Z Hunter as well. So this is kind of a given situation, but Diablo here with the UMP-45 might actually pick off maybe another one if he's lucky. He needs to be quite close up, like you said. it would be a bit difficult at this range. I think the AWP is probably... Oh, not going to take him. He actually gets a dink on him. Jeez. Uh, we can see the TGM picking up that last one there, and uh, we let's hope that uh, the SSG guys can dig in deep and uh, defend more, and give themselves hopefully like 12 or so rounds. Yeah, a bit of a weird money situation on their side with Diablo still over 9,000, some of the other players only around 3,000, so you're going to see a FAMAS and l some limited utility, but the AWP on Asperity, so is that in his hands? They've got every chance in this round. Yep, they do. We see Outlaw also picking up the AWP again. He's going to try and take a spot shot here, and he does take out the AWP, so that's a problem here, though, for SSG. Because right now, they, they spread a little thin. We see Z Hunter picking up the AWP. He's, we, we saw him shoot very well with the scout. Let's see what he can do with the AWP. Yeah, it was the primary AWP in his uh, previous team. I think he played for Pixel Hunters, so... Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, yeah, so he, he brings a lot of pedigree with the AWP, but um, definitely not quite at Asperity's level yet, but uh, again, nobody is, because he's JW. <laughs>
I kid, of course, but uh, yeah, it looks like uh, some aggression coming towards Ivy. A nice little play here from TGM getting the pick there. So that will force uh, one of the CTs to move back to try and defend off that IV rotation here. TGM already in a good position. He's moved through. The same with uh, Outlaw right now. Oh, that nade's going to hit pretty hard. See Hunter needs to be careful. Oh, look how quick he is with the AWP. Knows he's under fire right now. There's a lot of guys around the corner. Yeah, he's going to try and get himself another AWP shot. He does. Nice little play here. He's going to pick up another one. No, he's not. But uh, here we go. Hulk is to the rescue. Will not pick up Kubrick's though. But that's all he needed to do was pick up the one. Sea Hunter running all over the place. We see a little sneak defuse coming in here right now. Outlaw's going to try and push through. Ooh, I don't think this is going to work out. No, it's not. SSG oh. won't pick it up there. A little bit unfortunate. Z Hunter very quick with the AWP there, but it looks like he's just hitting it all over the place as well. Yeah, absolutely. Um, if they'd stuck the defuse, I think they'd actually have been okay. But uh, coming off the defuse there when the one player went low and then they both died. Yeah, a very stressful sort of clutch situation. I mean, one can always speculate on what you would do or what you should do better, but when you're in that situation, your heart's pounding and your palms are sweating and, uh, yeah, every, everything's just standing on end. It's very, very difficult to know what to do. Well, they've forced SSG into another eco round here. We see Asperity actually taking a bit of a hit here on that mid-side area. As uh, the T-side are moving it out slowly but surely. A lot of smokes at play here right now as they move themselves in towards A-side. Asperity very lucky at the moment not to get dinked or anything like that. Well, he's got semi-dinked, but look at this. A little breakdown here from... Oh, my wow. word. Look at this. Aeon, Asperity, and... Was that uh, Diablo? Yes. What a nice little eco upset we possibly will see here. And we do with Hulkies picking off uh, Stoner Skater. Oh, man. That was awesome. Yeah, they got a very nice crossfire close there. Um, I think with uh, all the smokes and, and uh, flashes raining in there from the T side, um, it actually allowed the, the CTs to get in close and into an advantageous position with those pistols. And the AWP outlaw in this case, um, going in alone, just getting torn apart by the SSG guys. Yeah, that was really fun to watch. Well, SSG picking up around you, and that's going to help them out with finances because they picked up a lot of AK-47s as well. And possibly that AWP. Yeah, they did. Freebies all around, boys. Uh, arm spaghetti and knees weak. Seeing some of the guys on uh, the Twitch chat obviously commenting here <laughs> about the pressure. And that's yeah, what it is. There's uh, a Queen song about that and a very bad vanilla ice ripoff of it. <laughs> vanilla ice, uh, yes. <laughs> I won't sing it for you, I promise. That's fine. <laughs> Maybe later. But, uh, well... Sounds romantic. <laughs> round 9 here between SSG Shock and Ballers. And uh, things are... It looks like they're going to be setting up for the A-side eco round here. Or kind of uh, pistol round, pistol buy here. Asperity, maybe not in the right position, but he might be able to knock off one or two. He does manage to get the one now. As Kubrick's uh, moves in with the Tech-9 aggressively, he will take down Z-Hunter and is under pressure there. Oh my word, look at this. At the moment, Bomb does go down and all of a sudden Blaze in a good position and still four of the ballers left and they're doing the work here so well and finally SSG respond with two. So we have a two on two here looking pretty interesting. Although none of the t side players have any sort of real guns. Well, they've got the UMP-45 but they need to be careful. Nice little look out here from Hulkies. He needs to be careful on his back, though, because Diablo has... Well, they're not looking at the back-end player, and he's going to be able to take out both of them. No, he's not, but... Is it going to be enough time? That's the question. Uh, and he's got it. He's got it. Wow. And Tough. he's looking for that AWP, and he finds it. Sure, that was really close. Um, yeah, that round, uh, really well played there from Borders. Um, they got in close to the weapons as they need to. I think Kubrick's was the, the guy who made the difference. They're getting in close on train and actually killing the player at Ivy and forcing uh, Asperity to jump off the top. So um, actually getting him quite low. So I think Kubrick's was the difference maker in that round. Yeah, he got himself in the right position there with that Tech-9. He just he, he played very aggressive, which actually kind of worked out there. But jeez, man, what a fight towards the end there. Very yeah, lucky. Absolutely. SSG was very lucky to get away with that one, but uh, now we see the buy-up round here come out from uh, the ballers. Bit of a quasi-buy as we see an ump on uh, on TGM and a Tech-9 on Stoner Skater. I keep saying, I'm not sure if I'm saying it right. Yeah, Stoner Skater. 
I think uh, we'll, we'll keep to that name as it is. So for those players, uh, you know, maybe if you're a bit newer to CS, you might not understand the difference between a force buy and a quasi buy and a full buy. A full buy is full rifles and full utility. A quasi buy would be some rifles and some other weapons, just because there's not enough money on the on the team. But uh, you know, they'll try to rally behind what money they do have on the players with the rifles. And then, of course, a force buy is generally pistol armor. So yeah. Um, we're looking at uh, quite an interesting situation now with uh, with ballers going. Look, looks like towards B, setting up for some smokes, but uh, we don't know if they might push yet. They seem to be great at the double fake, so who knows what they're going to do. Well, we see them now. It looks like they're going to be pushing in here. We see the UMP right in front here in the hands of TGM right now, but that molly is going to cause a bit of problems. Nice little spray down here from Diablo. He gets up two. Bomb will go down for the ballers. Aeon as well, close in close proximity. Sorry, not Aeon Hulkies, but uh, look at this. G TGM just kind of keeping it in here. Aeon with the AWP will knock him down. And uh, two AWPs actually in the hands of the SSG guys, and SSG will pick up their seventh round. Yeah, the double orb setup coming in from SSG is a very viable tactic on this map because of the long distances involved and paying dividends there with Aeon getting two kills. Um, luckily for SSG, they're able to keep hold of both of the orbs um, because, uh, again, it's a very risky buy because of the big investment. If you lose too many players, then you're going to be broke. So on the side of borders, again, we see uh, Tech 9s, uh, some armor on most of the players. Um, only not looking too strong, but they're looking to come into the strong one in the next round. So uh, I'm sure they'll be looking for a bomb plant, and maybe they can get a cheeky win on a on an eco, just like we saw from SSG a few rounds back. So yeah, just a little bit of a lull in the action now as ballers sort of evaluate what they're going to do. Contemplating the meaning of existence, the birds and the bees. <laughs> well, nice little uh, A smoke coming in again here from the ballers, guys. Let's see if they can actually get the bomb down. Rotation already effect in effect here. We see Diablo now moving in towards... Uh, a bit of a fake. You see the, the, the B player, they're running, actually running B through corridors. So yeah, full fake coming out from them. Only one player on B. That is actually very, very well spotted. Nice little play here from Hulkies. Only gets down one at the moment, but Z Hunter is uh, in the proximity. Does manage to drop the incendiary and slow down the plant and therefore deny it. Well, he's done the work here. Very good work at that as well. Nice little play though from the SSG guys. So the bomb's just lying on the floor right now, and Kubrick's out of the picture right now. And so the same with Stoner Skater. 8 3. Very, very close, to be honest. That bomb could have gone down. Yeah, if not for that uh, very um, heads-up bit of play there from Hulk, is that he threw that, uh, bounced that incendiary off the wall and landed it right where the bomb would be planted to deny the plant. Uh, I think uh, Ballers would have been in with a chance to win that round. So doing a lot of damage to the SSG side. The, a lot of the players were low, so I mean, it could have very easily gone the other way. But now full buy coming in from Ballers. Let's see what they can do. I'm keen to see if Outlaw can actually pick off uh, Asperity here with the AWP. Oh, doesn't look like it's the case this time. Uh, he goes sit down. Sit down, son. <laughs> so if good. you don't want to sit down, lie down. <laughs> well, it's true. He's done uh, exactly what uh, Outlaw did to him in the previous round, or the previous uh, few rounds ago when they were both uh, dueling it out with the AWPs. And uh, we see that bomb though moving in towards the IV side area, so this might actually just change things up if they get the entry frag, but uh, they missed the shot. The smoke grenade to the right should help them out a little bit here, but that incendiary is going to cause enough issues as it is. So the counter incendiary doing massive damage to Zianta down to 32 HP, Asperity also low, so perhaps uh, ballers have a chance of getting through IV if they manage to pick some favorable fights. You know, it's all about the entries right now, and there we go, Asperity picking up his uh, second frag with the AWP. We'll see TGM going to try and challenge him perhaps, I don't know. Yeah, the both players just searching for the angle at the moment. It's really looking towards Ivy where uh, TGM is trying to see if he can find somebody towards the bomb train. So she's stacking up towards Ivy now while the... Oh! Well look at Asperity here picking up one. He does not pick up the fourth one. He might get the ace here. 4k from Asperity. Kubrick's is waiting and out here with uh, the AK-47. Asperity needs to be very careful not to pop his head around the 
I'm going to train. Oh, he's going to peek out here. Ah, there he goes down. Nice little 4k from him, but just no ace. And we'll see Aeon pick up the last one here. 9-3. SSG look good. They need to keep it up. They want to win this map. From SSG there. They wouldn't be happy about losing that AWP at 12k on Asperity, so they're going to be able to buy it up again. And yeah, the AWP life comes in again, but unfortunately, Ball is money and a bit of tatters. Galil on their side, and uh, not much utility to speak of. Well, Kubrick hasn't actually bought up there, so that's going to imbalance things up a little bit here. No, there we go. He picks up the AK-47. That's what I thought, because he had 4k cash, so he should have. Oh, look at this. A lot of cross coming in there. A lot of cross firing happening with the a uh, with the AWPs right at the moment. Nice little play now here from TGM and Stoner Skater picking up one Z Hunter needs to make quick if he wants to loop in. Yeah, both AWPs going down and it's gonna be a very difficult retake now. Yeah, this is an interesting retake here. We'll see uh Hulkies coming in from the back end CT stairs. Let's see if he can get a frag or two. A nice little play for Z Hunter. He picks up one, so it's a three on three right now. And uh, Hulky's in a good position as well. He should be able to pick up another one, which he does. Diablo also with one to his name. And now all of a sudden they've made it into a three on two. Make it a one on one. So quick. Uh, things can change up right now. Smoke grenade right now. Hulky's needs to act quick. And Stone Skater not in the right position yet to defend that bomb, but uh, he's going to go for it. Too late, oh, unfortunately. Too late, yeah. Oh, well played there from the, the Borders player, Stone Skater. He actually managed to get a very good peek on um, on the players while while one was uh, going for the defuse and the other one was actually trying to protect his back. They both happened to be looking the wrong way. So, a bit of luck going their way, which hasn't happened much this this half. So, good to see their back in us. Um, Money not looking so good on either side right now, so um, yeah, this is probably going to determine whether it's going to be a 9-6 half we're going to see or an 11-4 half, so take it away, players. Well, at the moment, I mean, just having a quick look at the scores here, Diablo and Hulk, he's right up top there, 15 apiece, and then of course, Kubrix and Stone Skater actually 10. Blaze uh, a little low on the, the frags there, but I think he's played the support role quite well. And it also yeah, really... Yeah. It's map dependent as well, each player. Yeah, Blaze not really having a great game so far, but he hasn't had the AWP in his hands much, unfortunately, for him. And he goes down again early. Exchange looking quite interesting here. Kubrick's man managing to pick up the M4A1S, and it's such a good gun to have right now. Outlaw also picking up another, and now all of a sudden we have a 3 on 2 with that bomb going on the inside. So. Oh, and a double fake. Oh, Do you yeah. see this? Uh, SSG push to actually try to get the information there. They take him down, and then they're going to go, it looks like, drop uh, back to A. Yeah, that's uh, really, really w a really weird way for these uh, ballers to play, to be honest. They do so many double fakes, it's really hard to call it. Like, as you're calling that they're moving towards the B side, they just go, oh, nope, we're going back. Well, they're very smart. They're playing with the desk cam of, uh, of the, the player that's gone down, because he's going to call where he's gone. Hockey's is even coming in for what he thinks is a flank, but now he's finding nobody there. So they're going to know, they're going to rotate very quickly back to A, but unfortunately, I think it's going to be too late. Oh, it needs to be very quick. Very quick rotations right now. Smoke grenade in the connector there. So the Z, uh, Zig is actually smoked off. Or was that actually a flash grenade? I'm not too sure. But uh, it's just you guys are going to have to decide yeah, if they if they save. They might have a chance in the last round. If they go for it, they might win it. But ooh, it's it's really, really hard to call this. Oh, well, they got two M4s. They've got enough armor. And Hulkies needs to be careful on his left hand side here. He's not aware of Outlaw actually kind of sitting behind that train. I think he's going to back off, and it's a very clever move to do. The same will happen here with Aeon. Aeon is just going to back off right into the corner here. They're going to rather go for the gun save. And a very clever move at that, so that they got enough, uh, hopefully enough here to buy up a couple of fun muscles. And like you said, going for that last round. Yeah, the double fake's really working very well for ballers, and I must must commend them on it. You don't, as you said earlier, you went to a top flight land last weekend, and you didn't see double fakes. Um, Not often, no. At all. Almost at all. I never saw it. No, actually, there was a very good interview for with uh, Spoof from Carbon who actually said that he wants his team, you know, the coach of Carbon and the caller to, he wants his team to play aggressive and not to have too many strats. And that's coming straight from the guy who's calling for the team that won the land. So, very different mentality to, to what we see out of guys like Ballers right now. True.
Well, uh, speak from Carbon, yeah. well, look, I mean, like, like I said, actually, at the LAN, I <laughs> Carbon at the moment is like having four Sonics in your team. Literally, like, the guys have impeccable aim. And but Flex, he's an onliner only. Surely he can't win in a LAN. Oh, wait, he did. <laughs> Okay, sorry guys, controversial statements. Let's see what's going to happen in this last round. Um, yeah, it could end up being a good half for SSG if they get 10, and it could end up being a good half for Borders if they get 6. So, all to play for right now. Yeah, look, at the moment, uh, Z Hunter with that scout already losing some HP might be a little problematic for them. So, this um, round is very, very crucial for either side. Let's have a see. It looks like we'll probably see another A side... Uh Yeah, looks like it's going to be an A-side smoke as the smokes all come into the bomb site. Yeah, let's see if uh, the baller side can actually keep it uh, working. Oh, and I've uh, lost it in the middle. Bomb will go down. Yeah, so 5v4 retake for SSG favoring them right now. Oh, and the scout shot coming in there. Yeah, at the moment, SSG is doing very well at the, like, you know, kind of locking it down right now. Both Fallers players very low, and that's a very, very smart uh, incendiary there, keeping the players off. Yeah, Outlaw still lurking around here, but it's not going to happen. Uh, talk about SA cameramen. Well, it's called a bug. All of a sudden, it gets, it gets stuck when you try to actually uh, <laughs> get it out of the, the grenade throw. I think that's a little bit of a GoTV bug that. I have to press all these buttons to just try and get it out. But anyway, it doesn't matter. So score here, 10-5. SSG doing well, actually, on the half. Um, the same with Ballers. I think it's even Stevens. This can go either way. So mm, what, what's your call? Do you think uh, Ballers can take this one and close it off? Or is there a chance for SSG right now? Well, it's uh, all to play for right now. I think the half slightly favoured SSG there, but um, five is actually pretty respectable on T side, so it's it's really anybody's game right now. I would still favour Borders on this map, but um, SSG seem like they want to take it to third map. Yeah, aggressive play here from Outlaw. He's going to get caught there and uh, out Finished. of the picture. Yeah, out of the picture so quickly. Well, Kubrick's has got the range here with the USP, but they need to be careful. The Glocks do have the close-up power and. Uh, if the guys get into the site, they'll make it extremely difficult here for this is uh, well for ballers to take it back. TGM though with one, so frags out uh, Diablo there at least, and that is a four on four right now. He's on five HP Ooh. and goes down. See that shot there from Hulkies doing such a good job. They're making it a two K. Hulkies the pistol master. He's always been big, big in clash rounds with with pistols. Make that three. He's got the support from Aeon, yeah, with the Glock and a nice. The knife. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, just. I saw the one guy coming in quite close there. I don't know who it was, though, but. Uh, that was definitely Hulkies. He always goes for the knife. I know him. Cheeky bugger. Well, it's 11 5 right now, and SSG on a good position here to actually extend their lead by two additional rounds. The bomb did go down as well, so they'll get quite a bit of bucks. And they know that they don't need to buy up too much. We see the a force buy here come out from the ballers. Pistol armor. Outlaw appears to be saving for an orc because he's only got the USP and no armor. A smart smart player. He's just going for some information. Top B he's now called to his team that he sees nobody, so they're gonna know it's an air. Z Hunter poised to be caught with a nade in his hand very possibly. Ooh, that's CZ so powerful in the hands of TGM. He picks off Zianta there quickly and will pick up his uh, oh, MP7. He still tries to challenge though, but uh, we'll go down. It's already dropped down to 5 HP, so yeah, things favoring, not in terms of weapons yet, the T's, but uh, definitely the HP side of things. We're going a bit too deep, so unfortunately, Rex able to actually get some free shots on Diablo there. We see a late rotation coming in here now from SSG, but where they are not aware of uh, Stoner Scatter actually coming in from behind. And that could cause a problem right now as the T's are slowly but surely dropping every single time. Look at the Stoner Scatter just waiting him out. We'll pick him off here. And Aeon. It's a two on three at the moment. They still have the AK 47s in the hands of Hulkies, but it's not a very good position to be in. Well, 
manages to get the frag shots here. And oh, Halkis goes down, and uh, Ballers pull one back, eh? Yeah, this that was quite surprising. surprising, actually. I was actually just about to say, hey, they don't have a kit, so they've got no chance. But uh, even thinking it was the commentator's curse, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well played to um, Kubrix there with the with the rotation in behind, taking out the player uh, just above drop, and uh, actually making that round for them on on the retake. So yeah, let's just put uh, our friendly friends from uh, SSG in a bit of a, a tough spot now with the money. Looks like they're going to go for a bit of a save. Only armor on Aeon with the Deagle, uh, looking to come in with a full buy in the next round. Yeah, we see quite a number of uh, rifles actually in the hands of the ballers here, including that AK-47, which Hubrex picked up, and uh, Halkis unfortunately threw away. And let's see, uh, at the moment, uh, Aeon just hanging out here with the Deagle, trying to find information for his team. He's obviously almost like lurking around. Yeah, it takes up a couple of players. PGM down to 32 HP already, so let's see if they can do something with this. Now yeah, this is uh, turning into be a bit of an eco upset, perhaps. We'll have to see like the previous round also an eco upset there. We can only hope, but uh, right now I wouldn't go so far just yet. A nice little pick up there from Blaze as well. So Asperity, nothing from him really. Blaze uh, on 64 it's HP, so he's alright. Look at the stoner scan, he's going to pull his back out on the one of the SSG players and uh, Z Hunter picks him off there. Look at the Z Hunter. At the moment, things are looking pretty good right now here for the SSG guys. They them perhaps and will get the bomb down here. They don't have the guns though. Still two pistols. Oh, that little heady. Not uh, outlaw headshotting his teammate and putting him down on 29 HP. Not very good. Not very good. I'm gonna be honest. I think they spotted out there now. Oh, Ooh. and then. That smoke saving it for them. It was actually a very clever play there from Aeon to drop the incendiary, but uh, the borders with the smoke and actually extinguishing it and saving the round for themselves. They are very lucky, to be honest, that they ha had a smoke grenade, otherwise that would have been tickets for them. Yeah, well, a good uh, chance. Very heads up play as well from, from both Aeon and the, the borders guys. Now, borders uh, finding a little bit of uh, momentum right now. Only four rounds apart here from the SSG players. And uh, AWP coming out in the hands of Asper uh, or Asperity. And yeah, Blaise... Baller's money looking not great though. So if they lose this round, they're probably going to be in a double save situation because so many rounds have now come down to clutches, even in the saves. And that, that's the real danger of CT side on, on a map like this. Uh, if the uh, T's get some momentum, then it's very hard to bring it back. So, so far the momentum's with them, but they need to keep some of their players alive to actually eke out a bit of uh, an advantage, an economic advantage, and actually bring the game back in their favor. Oh, I'm keen to kind of see how this one's going to work out here now for the SSG guys. Just having a look at their quick setup here. It looks like they are moving in towards uh, A. Um, we might see some mid player. Not really anyone moving in towards Ivy, but there is a bit of a stack here on the end. Defensive stack. Four guys in that A side area. Only one on the inside, and that is Outlaw. So he's just kind of keeping a little bit of information and calling uh, the possibility of uh, SSG moving out on the A side because of that supposed intel. But look at this. All of a sudden, SSG move up in towards the inside, and they slow things down. Yeah, it's interesting. They are running a bit low on time now, so they're going to have to execute pretty quickly. I expect them to pop down a couple of uh, flashes, but do you think uh, Outlaw is going to call it immediately? And yeah, the rotation comes in. Yeah, this is going to be a tough one now for SSG because the rotation already in effect, like you said. 21 seconds on the clock and uh, things are very... One way or another right now, we do see a lot more frags moving in the favor of the baller's side. But the bomb does uh, go down, so that is a little bit of cash here for SSG, but they need to get the frags. That's the quick uh, actual answer here. Nice little play from Diablo coming in from behind, looping around. He tries to inflict pain on Kubrix, but Kubrix will get the better of him, and Stone Scatter as well on the top side. Tries to take down Aeon, and Aeon in a good position right now. it be very difficult against him. Oh, look what? at that through the board. Aeon, are you kidding me, bro? <laughs> what little clutch that was. Nice. I'm going to have to clean coffee off my monitor after that. <laughs>
Yeah, I was just about to say it's going to be very difficult because both of them were looking up at him fully expecting them and somehow he double sprays them down, two headshots and overs. Oh, that was uh, that was good fun to watch. So we'll see now. SSG just kind of gearing it up here for the smokes. Yeah, the ball is economy and a bit of tatters, but yeah, you never know what happens. Yes. Force wise keep, keep going the way of the team the force wires lately. Yeah, that force buy might might work out here for the ballers if they kind of keep the angles right. We see though SSG opening up the score sheet here with the first amount of frags. Aeon playing very well with the 2k there quite quickly, but he will get taken down there from Outlaw who has got a gun. It's a 2 on 1 right now. Bomb is down. Make it a 1 on 1. Oh, Hockey's over peaking a bit there and uh, putting him into a bit of a 1v1 situation. Yeah, look at Z Hunter right now. got no idea. Oh, he's sticking it. He's sticking it. Oh, oh did well not. And he gets the frag. Did not Bodies. expect that, to be honest. Pros I... don't fake. Pros don't fake. You hear this all the time, man. Yep. Pros don't Outlaw's fake. Outlaw's a pro. Clearly. No, Outlaw's been playing some really good CS, to be honest. Like, when he was still playing for Rookie Rampage as well. Uh, as well. Um, I'm, 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 a, I'm a hundred and almost 100% certain he played for Rookie Rampage. Uh, I wasn't around at that time in the local CS scene, but yeah, we see a, a, a quasi buy coming in again from SSG. Uh, looks like they're favoring B and playing fairly fast, so let's see what happens. Only two uh, rifles on the SSG side, Tech Nines. Oh, that, incend that incendiary basically kind of uh, blocked them off a little bit there. Now the smoke will obviously keep them at bay as well. So SSG has to wait it out. Like, I think that's going to be the case. They're going to take it slow. Possibly have a very late rotation or tail rotation from their lower side area in towards the B side. It really depends, though, like, what they're going to do. But looking at it right now, Z Hunter's setting himself up to go for that uh, lower B side uh, smoke down there. And there we go. It's going to pop out here. And he's going to flash himself out. Nice little entry frag there for Aeon. So here we go. SSG moving into the site very rapidly. They're not aware of Blaze that is around the corner. But the bomb goes down. And uh, Zianta actually quite lucky to survive that one. I ate a full nade close range. He doesn't get it on the end of the day there. But uh, at the moment Diablo, one of the only ones left. We have got uh, Aeon left again on that top side area. And he's super lethal. As we saw, but he'll get taken down this time by Kubricks and the ballers pick up another round here. 12 to 9, three round difference. Yeah, that's going a bit closer than it probably should have considering the lack of utility on the SSG side. But uh, Ball is doing really well to bring it back after the initial early kills from uh, Aeon on the B side. Uh, money wise, again, uh, Ballers uh, getting in a full buy, uh, whereas they're going against a bit of a force buy, some deagles and armor on the side of SSG. Uh, Let's see what the, the deagles can do. See if we can pop some heads, get some of those uh, sweet, sweet wand deags. Wand? <laughs> I would like to get a wand deag. Or see a wand deag. I haven't had a wand deag myself in like the last three months, so no comment. Listen to me, my friend. You will walk into my crosshair and I will splash your brains all over the world. <laughs> You've actually got a very good accent, to be honest, when it comes to that. Yeah, it's not too bad, eh? <laughs> not at all. But anyway, back in the game. You're around 22, 12-9 right now. SSG having to get this bomb down and having to get themselves around to possibly take this uh, map here and give us a third and final map. Nice little play down here, though, from Blaze. Picking up the 2K quite quickly in the round here on the defense. Um, that bomb is moving in towards the inside area here. Only one player defending it off. Yeah, SSG making it a bit easy for him there by um, sort of peeking one at a time. If they peeked at the same time on, on Blaze, they, they may have had a bit of a chance to take him down, but perhaps a little bit of a failure of communication or something there on their side. Not to take anything away from Blaze, two headshots. That's true. Nice little play there as well for Kubricks and uh, Diablo also just not making much of it as uh, Outlaw takes him down. Bomb will go down, so at least there's a bit of gun, uh, a little of... Uh, little bit of uh, finances there for the SSG guys at the moment 12 10 two round difference right now ballers look like they're in a good position to take this round or this map actually oh yeah we're gonna have to see how the next couple of rounds pan out um 
the ball is particularly rolling in the 6 6 griller, whereas uh, SSG have bought out for you know, left with uh, pennies and uh, dust in their pockets. So let's see what they can do. If they can pull this round back, uh, then they might have a bit of a strong economy. But uh, the baller side will at least be able to buy for the next round, even if they lose this one. Now we've got Asperity in the team just waiting on the A side here. We see the uh, smokes go in. Let's see if they can make it count with that AWP and a full stack of AKs. They've got enough utility to get into the site and get the bomb down. They'll leave some just uh, for when they exit out. And TGM and his team are just waiting for it. They're waiting for the breach. Things are not looking too good at the moment there for Asperity. Not a very good uh, bet or very good move. But nice little lockdown here from Ballers at the moment. SSG just fighting hard to keep themselves in the game. As uh, Z Hunter picks up one, so it's a two on two. But Z Hunter and Aon are quite low in the HP. That nade also landing not too bad there on the Z side area. Damaging Outlaw a little bit there. 257 HP, almost taking down half. Aon looping around here. Bomb not down. It looks like Stone Card is expecting it though. Takes him down quite easily. So now it's Outlaw and Stone Escada. Sorry, you got it right, I got it wrong. Stone Escada, Stone Escada. See, Anton needs to get this bomb down. They need the money. 23 he... HP clutch is going to be difficult. Yeah, let's see if he can do it. Nope, not going to be the case this time as uh, Stone Escada just gently picks him off. And that'll be the 11th round here for the baller side, if they find the bomb, actually. <laughs> oh, no, they're looking for orps. Um, their orp went down and the uh, orp on the other side, so they're just trying to see uh, where uh, if they really actually dropped the orp, I think. But yeah, I, I mean, was about to say. A little bit there because um, the smokes had actually dis dissipated by the time they were planting. I think just a little bit of a timing issue. They waited a bit too long in A main and put themselves in a bit of a difficult situation, making it a bit easier for ballers there. But yeah, the full buy coming in from both sides again. Um, well, ballers have the double AP, uh, AWP now, so that's going to change things up if uh, Blaze and Outlaw start uh, using it effectively on, on both ends of the stick. Yeah, absolutely. I, th I do think it's a very, very viable strategy on this map, and they're already proving its worth in Blaze. Yeah, Blaze very quick with the AWP there. Stone Escada obviously going to knock it off, uh, but he'll support quite well. And then we see Kubrix as well coming in quite uh, rapidly there. Asperity now having to make it count here as we... See, it's only him left, and uh, the SSG guys are going to be sitting with a 12-12 scenario, which is not really good for them at all, because it will probably force them to mm, force by, or maybe quasi by right now, but uh, we'll definitely see ballers now possibly taking the lead. Yeah, um, it depends. It looks like SSG are just going for, for a pistol armor buy, trying to equalize the money a little bit. Unfortunately, Asperity in the last round, uh, 20 HP in a dream, and uh, yeah, the dunk nade just uh, extinguishing that dream. Yeah, that's a, that's a very sad way to go. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, real life is hard. Sorry, Asperity. Well, at the moment, things are a little bit slow here in the SSG camp. They're obviously trying to play it out here. Oh, there we go. We got well, we got ourselves a nice little dig shot there from Z Hunter. TGM will exchange it, which I guess is fine for the baller supporters. They would expect at least a, a trade-off. See TGM just recycling the weapons away very smartly um, so that the SSG players can't get their hands on it. Yeah, what's interesting to see is what Aeon's going to do here. He's right around the corner here with a Tech 9. I don't think TGM is expecting him. No, not at all. It depends on if you can catch him off guard. Oh, when that nade on Hulk, he's just bringing him down. Oh, so look low. at that. So Aeon does get him on the end of the day, but Blaze will, uh, will trade it off here. He's going to try and keep himself in the loop here. Look at this play here from Blaze right now. He's going to be going in towards the Ivy side area, but he'll be taken down. Outlaw also just around the corner, and Kubrix as well. And ballers take the lead here, 13 to 12. Not looking good at the moment for SSG, keeping themselves, or uh, well, this final at least, alive. Yeah, they uh, they do get in a full buy now, though. They've got good money, so um, they'll be able to make a good go of it. But I would hasten to say that um, it's going to be a bit difficult for them. Thankfully, because they've been losing so many rounds in a row, the um, loss bonus is actually accruing now. So they are going to be on maximum loss bonus for the rest of the map. So it means they will be able to buy, but... 
Uh, yeah, they really do need to bring one back. Yeah, we might Otherwise, see... I do think we could see ballers taking this. Well, we see a little bit of a fake come out here, but you, the guys that push down there in towards TGM, moving in towards that IV side position, they pushed it down quite heavily, and I don't think they spotted them coming out or going up in towards the inside, uh, inside area because we now see that uh, SSG are all over coming through and down. But the defense is so good right now. With Kubris picking up a 2K. Asperity, the only one left here for the SSG guys. And he's got the AWP in hand. Yeah, it's going to be very difficult for him to do anything. He's going to have to pull out some real heroics, some Guardian style stuff. You know, Guardian with a, without a injured wrist stuff. Yeah, it's quite interesting to to know that because I mean Olof also just recently reported that he that they're missing out on uh, the next uh, major which is um, that's not the major it's a uh, Dreamhack Malmo sorry which is a not the major dollars tournament still well, a big chunk of money but used to, those used to be majors just saying. yeah million dollars now yeah, yeah. so yeah it's very unfortunately going down as expected there not much you could do on 50 HP with the uh, with the AWP uh, against four players and uh, some very tough angles on the B side. So yeah, um, bit of a roll of a dice again coming from, in from SSG. Uh, let's see if they can do something and, and fake out the ET side, which so far has proved impenetrable in this half. Yeah, the ballers are very good on the defense right now. Sticking, sticking to their ways. Oh, look at that. Uh, Z Hunter picking off the shot, uh, the shot there. Through Again. the smoke. Must yep. be hacks. Definitely hacks. <laughs> Just good timing. But it's good though to see that uh, SSG picking up that uh, frag quite early. Not losing too much HP either. And now we'll see them most likely set it up to go towards the inside. I mean, just kind of looking at that setup right now. It's hard to call it, but it does look like they will be playing on the outside, rather, on the A-side area. No smokes coming through, so they're going to try and maybe get one or two more pick-offs here. There we go. Zianta working the magic as well. Blaze out of the picture, and here we go. SSG now moving in. Look at Kubrick's all the way in the back on the corner, getting the shots in. A sneaky little bomb plant from Aeon might pan out. Yes, it does. But TGM came very close to taking him down there. All the line up. From Outlaw. Sorry for interrupting. No, not at all. Seems to be quite all over the place here. Outlaw doing quite well with a 3k here to his name at the moment. He wants to get himself another one, which he does. And uh, very, very good play there from Outlaw with that 4k. Jeez. Yeah, in fact, uh, the, the SSG guys are actually um, congratulating Outlaw on that play because I think that play just won his team the, the game, potentially, with the 3k and the sneaky play. So, yeah, yeah we're on, on match point right now for, uh, for ballers. So... Everything uh, poised to come right down to the wire, and the wire being the 16th round. So let's see if uh, ballers can bring it home, or if SG can bring it to overtime. But uh, both games actually proving very close. Yeah, I'm hoping. For well, yeah. <laughs> I'm hoping that the SSG guys can actually get this one right because I mean it's uh, it's really a thing for them. See the aggression coming out there from ballers pushing out of Ivy and trying to catch a Spirity. It's quite interesting though. But it looks like uh, SSG are going to try and focus on that inside here just after Outlaw 4K'd them. Yeah, it's an interesting game. You could not really say that any player is particularly carrying on either side. The frag's very even across both teams. The round's very close. A lot of uh, very close clutches on both sides. So, um, yeah, not a lot to separate these teams. No, it's literally of course the score scoreboard. It's literally just the case of either team could actually be winning this final right now. I mean, 16-14 first map, and now we're going to fight 15-12 right now on the outdoor. On, well, the ball is on the um, verge of winning this one, but SSG are going to give them a really hard time as the bomb goes down. Nice little play here. Oh, we see quite a number of uh, frags now moving in towards the. Favor. Oh, in the flank. Yeah, oh. 2k from Diablo with the flank there. Very, very clever flank there, actually. Leaving TGM behind. He's the last one left. You can go for it, though. They've got uh, they've got decent money on their side, so it would be totally up to him, but it looks like he's, he's just going to play for the exits and try to hurt the T-economy. Yeah.
And Hertie does. Aeon's face stinging after that uh, reply from TGM. I just had a little bit of a problem there. The GoTV bugged out a little bit. The players were say, well, it said that they weren't ready. I don't know if you actually saw that on your side, but uh, good round there actually for for the guys. Though it looks like they're still not ready. Uh, no, on my side, it's it's actually just fine. You may need to just re reboot back in. Um, so, well, it's fine. Game is it working yet? No, it's cool. I mean, the score right now at the moment is 13-15, and SSG are keeping themselves uh, close. Yeah, um, good buys coming in from both teams here, um, except for Aeon, who obviously went down in the end of the last round, so his money's a bit uh, a bit hurt. But as for the rest of everyone else, it's it's a pretty even contest, so we could see overtime, yeah? We hope to see overtime. In fact, I want to see a third map. That would be great. Yep. But yeah, Z Hunter coming in with a little bit of a aggressive push towards Ivy, trying to see if he can find some information. But no peaks from the CTs at this stage. They're playing very defensively. Could be a bit of nerves on the side of the CTs, maybe. I'm uh, just thinking they don't want to take any risks because the game is so close to being won. But as we saw at the MLG Major, uh, in the case of Team Liquid, 15 match points and still they did not win. So uh, let's hope that uh, Ballers can keep it together and... Uh, not choke uh, right when they're so close to victory. Yeah. It'll be a very sad one for them at the moment. They're two rounds ahead. Possibly even three. They need to be very careful now. They need to know where the T side are. The T side players are sitting. And uh, by the looks of it, they are all on the inside except for Z Hunter, who is lurking around to try and maybe force a rotation in towards this uh, outside A side area. He might be always going to play the lower rotation here. He might be able to get into himself into a good position right now. Coming in through. The TGM it's pushing the smoke. Oh, look at TGM right now. He's actually playing a very good game right now. And uh, he's going to spot off Asperity there, who took the shot and missed it. And will go for the defuse here. And this will be Ballers winning the final. A fantastic game of CS, to be honest. I mean, I did not expect the Ballers to take it, to be honest. I expected it to be the uh, SSG side